Hello everybody, welcome to another Python tutorial series, this one covering fundamental analysis or maybe more accurately analysis of financial statements of the S&P 500 companies but of course it's not limited to the S&P 500 as once you understand the principles you can do the same for all kind of companies. Um, this is actually a series inspired based on all the emails and message requests that I've received in the, in the past month after I've created the Python for Finance tutorial series which was mainly covering technical analysis and technical indicators. So in this video I decided to show you what you can expect in the tutorial series but also um, let me know if there's something else that you would like to see as part of this series. The main focus would be on Piotrowski F-score, which is a number, in this case, is between 0 and 9, which is used to assess the strength of a company's financial position, and it does so by um, calculating scores that are actually derived from the financial statements of the company. So there are four scores for profitability, such as return on assets, change in return of assets, operating cash flow accruals, then the second group is leverage, liquidity, and source of funds, and the third one is the operating efficiency. And I'm not sure if we're going to use all these nine criteria. Maybe some of them are a bit outdated. Uh, maybe we will just add new ones that make sense. But the purpose of this tutorial is to provide you with the tools that you can make all kinds of an fundamental analysis yourself. So for that purpose, we're going to use this Yahoo Finance package designed for scraping the data from Yahoo Finance. Um, I'm going to leave a description to this. I'm going to leave a link to the description of the library, but also all the methods that you can use are here. Um, the main ones that we're going to use is get balance sheet, get cash flow, and get income statement. But as you can see, there's a lot more that you can get from this uh, package. The ones that we're going to use, basically what they do is they would scrape this financials part from Yahoo Finance for a given company that we have. Um, and also the library itself already has the tickers that we can use to iterate through um, to get all the information that we want for all S&P 500 companies. Now the nice part of course is that uh, Yahoo Finance has a structured website that uh, total revenue, what we have here would be total revenue regardless of which company we're searching for. So by searching for the same keyword we would get um, the total revenue for a company. If we search for, um, if we go to the cash flow statement, for example, if we want to find the operating cash flow, then we would be searching for the exact same keyword regardless of the company. So we can structure our script in such a way that it provides us with the information that we need for calculating an F score or just the score of uh, strength of company's financial position. And then we can iterate through the S&P 500 tickers to get this score. And basically, based on that, we can uh, maybe rank the companies, which one has the strongest financial position or which one has the worst one. But please let me know if there's something else that you would like to see as part of this tutorial. I might I might even cover the, the PE ratio because that's probably something that's um, part of this get quote table. But um, basically, everything that you see on this part on of the Yahoo Finance, all of these information you can scrape with the um, library that we're going to cover in this tutorial series and again this is not an investment advice it's not that you need to um, you, it's a good investment if you invest in a company that has a high score uh, the conclusion is that a company that has a high score is considered to be strong of course you need to make uh, some calculation in order to us to understand is it overpriced or underpriced so the purpose of this tutorial is to get information of is a company strong or not or how strong it is or how weak it is so this would be as you can see this is something that is being used based on this wikipedia link that is being used by um, financial investors in order to find which companies are stronger than others um, but i i in my opinion you need to do something that no one else do, does so if you if everybody's using this score everybody would get the same result so you need to think of think out of the box and uh, maybe focus on okay what is it that we do not cover with these ratios or which of these criteria is not as important as my maybe piotrowski thought back in the time so 
maybe you would like to um, see the, the sales growth in the last year. So if maybe uh, rank um, the companies based on the growth in sales. So in this case, we have one point or zero point based on whether a certain criteria is met. But it doesn't have to be this way. We can always have a, a ranking from in, instead of a one or a zero, we can have um, ranking the sales growth if the growth is between zero and 5% a score of one, if it's between 5% and 15% a score of two and so on. So it's not really limiting to having one or zero. It's just an example of, of one way that we can use the, Google, the Yahoo Finance data, but there's really no limit. So get out of the comfort zone once, you're, once you have sufficient knowledge on how to extract the information from Yahoo Finance using the library, then it's up to you to create your own calculations and your own um, maybe ways to assess a company's strength. That would be all regarding this introduction. Let me know if there's something else that you would like to see in this tutorial series and looking forward to seeing you in the next one.